Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will be setting up the required lab. As I told you in the introduction, we will use AWS free tier account during this tutorial. Let me quickly go through the process required to set up an AWS free tier account and then we will go and launch virtual machines required for our Nginx tutorial. Now let's open the browser and open aws.amazon.com So if you can see here there's an option to create a free account. Well free account you know does not guarantee you everything free but there are limitations to it but for our use case we can do everything in the free tier itself so aws account include 12 months of free tier access that includes ec2 which is you know required for our use case so we can visit this url to check like what are the terms and conditions for this AWS free tier account. So if you can see there are, you know, various values of the free tier eligibility that they are offering compute for 750 hours, storage for 5 GB in S3, you know, and the different things. You can have a look here and explore the options available here. Let's get back to our create an AWS account. So while creating an AWS account, we need to, you know, enter all these information in this form and we need to select a name for our AWS account. I am not going through the process of creating a free tier account, but let me tell you the requirements for it. You will need a credit card or a debit card just to pay two Indian rupees or the equivalent dollars just for the verification purpose so that whatever the bill will be coming after the free tier will get deducted from that card also we need to give a mobile number that will also be verified once you go through the account activation process the account will get activated within 24 hours generally it gets activated within an hour or two but the maximum period for the complete verification will take will take around 24 hours i am skipping this you can go through the aws website and easily create an account now our account has been successfully launched we need to select the region from this drop down menu so we have multiple options here these are the availability zones where our actual machines are hosted so we'll go for asia pacific seoul in the services section select ec2 ec2 stands for elastic compute head over to running instances this is the actual place where we launch the instances we'll go to launch instance we need to select the amazon machine image like what operating system we want to run on our virtual machines we'll select this ubuntu server 18.04 and that is free tier eligible we need to make sure since we are doing all our stuff on a free tier account so we should select only free tier ami images else we have to pay for that here we need to select the machine size so the free tier eligible is only t2.micro that is 1 gb of memory since in our nginx course we need at least three vms so selecting the, this as three leaving all other things as it is this is the storage section like uh, we can define the size of volume that is attached to our ec2 machine so we're leaving it leaving it as 8 gb only next here we can add the text we're leaving this as of now this is the place where we actually create the security group security groups is a set of firewall rule that control the traffic for your instance here by default we are seeing the port 22 where we do ssh is open to everyone so we need to add two more rules we can open any port by selecting this custom tcp rule and enter the port range and the source anywhere or or particular ip range so here we are going for http and also https yeah 443 
here we are leaving it open to everyone but in a production environment it's not advised and strictly not advised to open the port for everyone that's why it is showing the warning improve your instance of security your security group launch wizard one is open to the world since we are doing this in our lab we can go ahead with this here we need to select an existing key pair or create a new key pair so we are creating a new key pair we are giving it a name as web server download key pair make sure you download this key pair because it can be created only once and can be downloaded only once even now launch the instances your instances are now launching go to view instances section so these are the three machines that are going to be launched let's name them as per our needs so we are giving it the name as nginx we'll be doing our experiment on the different backend servers since nginx will be receiving request on itself and then it will be routing to some backend machines we are having two backend machines we are naming it as backend one and other one is backend two so this will take around one minute to to get the state as running now we can check all the states are in running state so if we want to check out the details for our VM just select the instance and look for values here this is the public IP 3.34.4.122 and this is the private IP and other details are here you can easily go through this now our virtual machines are ready we need some client to do SSH onto the different virtual machines since it's a Windows machine, then there are two options available for it. Like one is Mobile Extra, other one is the Putty. So if you are using a Linux machine, it's very easy to just go onto the terminal and, and directly SSH onto the public IP using the keys. So let's download Mobile Extra for Windows. Mobile Extra download. Select this option. So there are two options available, Home Edition, Professional Edition. We'll go for the Home Edition. So there are two options, Portable Edition and Installer Edition. We'll be selecting Installer Edition. Open the zip file and just install it. Accept the terms. So Mobile Extra has been installed. Now open the Mobile Extra. So this is a very great tool to do SSH onto the different servers. In the just go to the sessions, create a new session, select the type of connection that you want. Here we need to enter the public IP. That's the remote host. So for this Nginx, the public IP is this one. Just copy it, paste, paste it here. Specify the username for our VMs it's Ubuntu because since we are going for uh, Ubuntu server, so by default the user created is Ubuntu. Since we require a key as well, so go to advanced SSH settings and then take this, use private key and select the key, the, the key that was created in that step. Here we have created webserver.pam and do OK. So Mobile Xtrum is trying to do SSH to our server. So this is our Nginx server. The internal IP is 172.31.35.124. Just check it whether it's the same server. Yeah, it's the same server. Just update the repo. This is the server where we'll be 
installing nginx we'll look for downloading nginx nginx for linux installing nginx open source we'll move on to nginx docs here there are multiple options available so since we are going for a free edition there is one more edition that is nginx plus but we you have to pay a subscription value so we are here going with the open source edition select the type of package you want just move on to the ubuntu section so we are going to install a pre-built ubuntu package from the official nginx repository we need to first download this key just copy it and paste it so this key has been downloaded let's check it so here is the key nginx signing dot key now we need to add this key apt key add and nginx signing key so it has been added now now we have to add the source file and enter these sources let's go to this is sources dot list we'll do sudo nano slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list head over to the last line where we will be entering these two entries just select it copy paste and the next one and paste make sure you need you change this codename value to to a version that specific with the os since we are having 18.04 we need to select the code name for it for 18.04 it's bionic we'll change it it's bionic same here bionic just save it since it's a nano editor you just do control x shift y to save and then enter so we have updated the sources list now we just need to remove the nginx common package that's available with ubuntu sudo apt-get remove nginx common it has been removed now and just update the repository again sudo apt-get update it has been updated now now we'll be going to install nginx sudo apt get install nginx just give permission yes yes now the nginx is installing it has been installed now to verify whether nginx has been installed just do nginx minus v yes the version is 1.17.10 so since nginx has been installed we'll just check whether nginx is responding to any request that's coming from outside what we'll do is like we'll just create a curl request and we'll do curl to localhost it should give a default page that nginx has sudo service nginx status it's inactive state so we need to start it sudo service nginx start it started now we'll again check Wait, what's the status of it yeah it's working so we'll do curl localhost yeah it's giving us the welcome to nginx page we'll go to the browser and we are hitting that public ip and now it's showing welcome to nginx so this nginx server has been perfectly installed now we need to check whether the rest of the two machines are working properly or not we just need to do ssh and update the repositories there as well so we'll select this public ip we'll go to mobile extra we'll create new session ssh paste this hostname 
this is the username the same one ubuntu since it's a ubuntu machine advanced ssh setting then use private key select the web server.pam key file open then ok so this is the first time we are logging in to the backend server one yeah it's successfully done we'll first update the server sudo apt get update so the update is successfully done we'll again create a new session for the backend server 3 just select the ip this is the public ip just paste it here specify the username advanced ssh settings again select the private key file So we are logged in into the backend server 2. Here also we will update the repository sudo apt get So our all three servers are ready. That's it for setting up labs. We will head over to the next sections where we'll, we will be taking the other basic concepts related to Nginx.